we seen the best of them? I don't think that we have. And that could be uh, worrying news for Nigeria. Although, you know, Nigeria have the reputation. They may have a cast of new players, uh, but if they're turning on all cylinders, uh, they will be tough. Yeah, the great. Their scoring has gone down. 73 points in the first, excuse me, 81 in the first game, 71 in the second, and 68 in the third. The winner of this game uh, will take on Cape Verde in the quarterfinals. So uh, a lot at stake here. Ish Wainwright comes right out and is right on target. And Malogu now, guarded by Dengu. He's going to play Rastafeta next season. Nice drive inside by Emilogu. Dribble, pull up, jump shot. Very nice. Got to keep the, moving the ball sharp, Uganda. Pump fake, Inabu at the free throw line. Nice spin, Dingu. Inabu, shot clock winding down, has to launch it and gets another one to go. So Domingo goes out, Utomi goes out, and it's nice to see Agu come into the game. He's been one of the real bright spots. Here's Opong, another three, and it's 21 to six. No, you can't. <laughs> Tony Trileba getting in, and boy, great rim protection yeah. there by Wainwright, but also good position there by Ding Gu. But second chance here for Nigeria. Bounce pass, dunk yeah. for Domingo. Much better. Extra possession on the offensive rebound. Uganda switched off just for a moment to the situation. And Duba again gets it to Adogi. This time he lays it up and in. Yeah, nice move by Adogi. Just sort of a throw and hope in the end because it was made so tough by Rawiri. Rawiri, good. Rattles it in. 17 point advantage for Uganda. Tommy, yep. Get the steal. Three point shot. Dingu, another one. Wow. Dingu, how do you do? He's a hero. I think the three point shot started dipping. The free throws become difficult. They missed the layups. They've got to dig in here. Yabu drives in. Good. And it goes back to a 20 point advantage. Keep making these shots. Amelogu gets it to a Mogbo. Yeah. Terrific reverse layup. He knows it's go time. He passes it. Who's got it? It triggers a break. Seiko gives it back to his brother. Yes! How about that? Telling his guys to D up over here. A Mogbo passes it over to Domingo, who gets in for a layup. I like what Steven Domingo's doing there. Get inside on the weak side. Back to a 12 point lead to Tommy. Well, he launches and it's good. Wow. He can do it. Kalum again for three. This time, yes. gets it to go. Kaluma goes in. A little bit short ish. Wayne right there, though, gets the basketball, goes up strong. It looked better on the release. He was just off right. Now, Dogi. A nice handoff. He has it knocked away by Ish Wainwright. Yeah. Here's Dingu on the break now. He's got options. They pass it back to Opong. He pulls up and it's good. That wow. is as good as it gets, Jeff, in transition. Opong again from the arc. It's good. I mean, is he good? <laughs> is he a shooter? Agu in the corner. Domingo, he can't mess around. He's got to put it up, and he does. And I think it's that sense of desperation that sometimes helps you focus just that little bit more. If there is one. Here we go. And Opong passes up, and great effort by Gundaran to get back. Now Tommy. And Tommy drives in. Excuse me. Uh, that was a Tommy. And the three is the answer from Opong. He's going the other way for Nigeria. He just catches and shoots. Great rhythm, great rotation, great height. And that was on the back of Nigeria, hitting a huge shot. Utomi with his big three. 
And Benjamin can't get it. And that is it, folks. What a day for Ugandan basketball.